Welcome to Axis Graphics. In this tutorial, we will go over the admin tools of Axis version 2. Log into Axis and hover over the Home tab. You will see the user column for your user account settings and notifications, as well as the admin column. Now let's begin by clicking on the admin projects. Notice at the top left of the screen your organization is listed. You have the main organization, as well as the sub-organizations under it. Using this demo client account that only subscribes to MAPS, you will see we have created a public project at the highest level called MAPS. Because this is a public project, everyone at the main organization, as well as the sub-organizations, can see this MAP look. Now if you look at the sub-organization of news, you will see there is a private project called Special Show Map. And this is a private project, which means that I have to assign users to be able to see it. You can assign users from any organizational level, but in order for them to see it and use it, you will need to assign the users. For this account, the map look is assigned to your project. An example would be, let's say we have a main red station map look assigned to the map public project, and a blue special project map look for a limited amount of people at the news organization. You will see with private projects, when you go in to edit it, you can then assign your individual users or even a user group. Let's now talk about user groups. For a small single station organization using maps, you may not find a need for groups. But in the example I provided earlier when I mentioned the red and blue look maps, you will want to create groups to limit the number of times that you have to add individual users to the project. You can create a group on an organizational level, assign the users to the group, and now you can assign the group to the private project. Remember, if it is a public project, there is no need to assign users. Everyone will see it. Now let's talk about users. When you click on the organization within the user section, you will see the users are categorized either on the highest organizational level or the sub-organization. This is where you're able to edit a single user's account, and in this section is also where you can add users to the organization. To add a user to the organization, select the organization and click the blue Add User button. Add their name, email address, and password information. When you add a user into the system, the user will receive an email with their login credentials and they can later go in and update their password information. As you continue to step through the pages, you can then add some additional information to the account as well as also add the time zones and the language. The order list auto refresh rate is only needed if you subscribe to Axis Order, and this will allow for you to update your order lists every couple of minutes. On the next page, this is where you can provide the user with the proper services that you currently subscribe. Notice it says you can hover over the role to get the information on what the role can do. The user type is either a super user or a user. Depending on what organization you place the super user in, they can either have rights to over the entire organization or their sub-organization. If they're a user, they have access to the system to assemble graphics. For maps, you will set them up as a super user or a user. Future functionality will allow for super users to have more design control over the products such as maps. The user role will allow for them to assemble maps. In this case, news, order, and quotes are products that this account does not subscribe to. Moving down to the track section, for map users, future functionality will allow for super users to have more control over the assets and composites. The user role will allow for them to repurpose maps and upload assets to the organization that they belong to. Assign the user to the group and assign the user to the project. On the next page, you can set up notifications for the user, or you can also allow for them to set up their own notifications. Now let's move on to user roles. For the user role, you will see that you can select the organization or sub-organization to set up the roles. The roles should be set up for the user when you add them into the system, but should you want to make adjustments to multiple user accounts, you can do so by entering it this way, or you can also go directly to the user's accounts and make adjustments there. 
Let's move on to seat allocation. In larger organizations, this tool is useful when monitoring the number of active users there are in each organization using each product of access. An active user is someone with an active login, not necessarily someone that is currently in the system using access at that moment. You must have available seats to add someone to that organization or to that access product. File formats and resolution. This is where you can set up your organization's output resolution as well as file and video format. Make sure you set it up for all of the organizations. Finally, let's talk about organization settings. Make sure you enter an email address in this section. The email address will be used when Access needs to notify the users of a system-wide event such as a maintenance window. This email address can be a group distribution email. Thank you for watching this Access tutorial.